This will make you think twice about what you put in your pocket. Matthew was using a battery pack to charge his mobile phone when it burst into flames, leaving him with horrific burns. My whole body's going to catch on fire and then I'm just going to burn alive. What happened to 28-year-old Matthew could happen to any one of us. We all carry one of these in our pocket, maybe a portable charger too. But what you're about to see is so shocking, it'll make you think twice. I thought that I was definitely going to die. When Melbourne aircon installer Matthew went to work two weeks ago, this is the last place he thought he'd end up. All of a sudden, I just hear a hissing sound and then I and then I don't know what's happening and then I step off the ladder and I look down and I see like fire shooting up at my face. Matthew had a power bank in his pocket that was charging his phone. The same thing he says he's done countless times before. This time it burst into flames. He had cut a huge hole in my pants, which made it easier to pull my pants down. Uh, but it was still burning, so now it's burning my shoes, my feet. Matthew was working alone on a ladder. I'm not really afraid of death. I just didn't want to die at that moment, like alone in a warehouse at night. Like imagine I just die by myself in that location. No one will find my body till the next day. Matthew couldn't get an ambulance, so somehow drove himself to a nearby restaurant and called a cab. He had the first taxi council, I called an Uber, the Uber refused to let me get in his car, I had to cancel that, and then the third taxi accepted me. Images of Matthew's injuries are too graphic to show unblurred. It was like someone holding a cast iron thing off the stove, like a kettle, and you just place it on your knee for a long time. A lot of people have these devices. Did you think it could cause something like this? No, because I didn't buy it like off, um, off eBay or like, um, like second hand or anything. The Comsol Power Bank bought at an office works. I just want people to uh, know that it could happen to them. From e-cigarettes to laptops, electric bikes and scooters exploding due to lithium ion batteries. And they are quite reactive and explosive when those fires take, take hold. This is an emerging trend, this isn't going away. Deputy Commissioner Michelle Young from Fire Rescue Victoria. It's not that these products aren't safe, it's just that how we make them safer and how we live with this technology. Hundreds of fires have been linked to the batteries, including an e-scooter explosion in Brisbane, which left a father-to-be dead. Officials say there are things you can do to protect yourself. Make sure you're not dropping and throwing around. I know it's really easy. You, you throw your phone on the bed and it falls off and falls on the floor. Don't put them in your bag and put them on a charger or put them under your pillow or put them under your bed. Matthew's lawyer, Tony Carbone, is planning legal action against Comsol. Alarmingly, he says it's not his only case. We've settled a case involving a lady whose house burnt down because of a phone that caught on fire. And we've got four other cases going to court involving iPhones catching on fire when the clients have had them on their person. Several Comsol power banks have already been recalled, among at least 22 other electronics brands containing the batteries pulled off shelves. Yeah, I know it's really easy to go and buy a $2 store recharger, uh, but they may not be as reliable as the ones that are bought with the product. I had to have pretty much all the skin in my right quad area taken off and placed on the left thigh, and the same thing for my uh, left hand. Matthew still can't walk and he's facing further surgery. It's not just unique to me. They shouldn't just take this lightly and then ignore it. That is frightening, isn't it? The company Comsol says it recalled certain models in 2021 as soon as it became aware of a possible risk of injury.